Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Babyface P. And today, we are going to finish this up. I'm, I'm so excited to get this done that I'm not even, uh, I'm not even gonna put my face on today because I don't wanna go find the hat that I had sitting around here somewhere. So we're just gonna finish this up. Um, I got two rivets to go up here for the shell deflector. Where's my shell deflector? Um, there is the, for the other part, but we need the shell deflector, which is up here. So we got two rivets for the shell deflector, which are gonna get crushed in. Um, the one that I bought did come with these extra freaking long rivets, but they're not actually the correct ones for that purpose. I don't know why they give you the wrong rivet. Um, this is the shell deflector that comes with the LSC, I believe, and this is the uh, shell deflector I bought uh, simply because I couldn't find the rivets. They didn't sell the rivets alone at the same time. Um, so, luckily, thank you, uh, thank you, local, uh, the local guy that's been helping me get uh, parts, build, but he bought two extras when he ordered his, so he gave them to me. I really appreciate it. So, rivets go in, shell deflector is going to go in, and uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the entirety of that once we're done there. Let me pull these rivets out. Flip it over in the mag well. We will put our same thing. They gave us really huge rivets, so I'm gonna have to cut the rivets down a little bit. Um, but the hook will go on, the rivets will go in, and get crushed in place. And then we'll just have to clean up the inside a little bit to make sure the mags fit correctly. But that's pretty much it. They're pretty straightforward. So let me uh, let me get started on riveting this all together. All right. Here's how I'm gonna get this started. Uh, the rivets that come uh, that you're supposed to use for this top section are hollow, semi-hollow. So I'm gonna hold them in place and run a punch up in there and see if I can just kind of spread them out a little bit by hand and then we will uh, maybe use a tool to press them in or something. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but let's see, one fell out, that's fine. We'll hold this in and then tap on it. Just like that, we got the first rivet in. Really easy actually. Uh, just held it against the vise up here, put this punch in, and this punch uh, is actually, funny enough, it's a broken punch that I have, um, but it's perfect for this because it, it's wedged out. That's why I don't throw all this old trash away. You never know when you could recycle, reuse something. So hold it, and then like that. That will spread that rivet in, and now it's held in place. We can also go in if you need to, and from here, uh, spread it a little bit more. We probably could use Something like that. That's yeah, a little bigger. That'll work. This is a um, uh, roll pin punch that will probably fit in there nicely and spread that rivet out just a tiny bit more. So this could be done at the beginning, is what I'm seeing here. Um, you could absolutely do this at the beginning of the process, but it's really uh, the more I see it now. It's, it's really All right, so here's what we're doing. Uh, I found after screwing around for a while, the best way I found is a bucking bar, and you're gonna have to ignore the fan. A bucking bar the size of the magwell. Uh, shit. You can make one, or if you don't want to make one, this one. Uh, this piece of steel that is, I don't remember how far. This one came with uh, the top tool parts that I'm working on, or that I work with. Um, this is, what is this? This is the centerpiece for the barrel installer for the top tool. So if you have this, this will work great. Um, but yeah, just find a steel bucking bar that will work. The other thing, if you want to do this at the beginning, I still am under the impression that it'd be quicker and easier, but that's up to you. Go ahead and see about getting this thing stuck in there now.
All right, so there you go. Rivets are in. Uh, I would suggest... I'm going to put this as a footnote in the other video, but I would definitely suggest doing this at the beginning. It's way easier. I know what I was told, and I'm going to go against the old advice and say do this at the beginning because this was pretty difficult. Um, yeah, go for it at the beginning. Don't do it at the end. But There you guys go. It's riveted in. We are ready for a test fire. So I'm gonna do a little bit of final fitment, uh, get the rear sight on. The rear sight's real easy. It just sits in place and screws in. Um, and then get ready to test fire it. All right, gents.